And we're going to look at the epicranial aponeurosis. Okay, and that's this structure here. Epicranial aponeurosis. I call it the swim cap. Okay, if you've ever worn a swim cap for too long, you'll notice it starts to give you a headache. Well, this structure and area, because of stress and tension, or um, even for women, if they uh, have their hair pulled back really tight in a ponytail, okay, really, really tight, it starts to pull on the different structures and sometimes at the end of the day you know some women that wear their hair back uh, really tight for too long they'll just notice they get a headache um, so that one is a easy solution just be more mindful of how long you keep the hair pulled uh, very tightly tight fitting um, Hats can also do it, okay? But uh, this is the epicranial aponeurosis, and an aponeurosis, we have several of them throughout our body. You're seeing one here, and it is uh, like a broad, flat, tendon-like structure, okay? Now, it does connect um, a muscle in the front, okay? to some muscles in the back. All right, so the front muscles is the occipital frontalis frontal portion. And then the back side is the occipital frontalis occipital portion. Okay. And these uh, do um, all connect. So you've got this muscle from the front, the aponeurosis, and the muscle in the back. 